Hi everyone, my name is Qingyuan Zhao from KK Bergen's group. Today I want to give a talk about multi-stage cascading superconducting nanoware single photon detectors. Before starting the talk, I want to acknowledge the group of members who contribute a lot to this work. First, I'm going to discuss the problem of the no signal to noise ratio in SNSPDs and answer the question why we need a high output detectors. So the blue curve is an ideal SNSPD curve. Its amplitude is about the gain times the bias current times 50 ohm load. However, when you want to read these small pulse, you need amplifiers. And the amplifiers contain noise and also the connections from the cryo could to the outside readout can couple noise from the environment. Therefore, the real pulse will look like the red sketched pulse. When you want to detect this noise pulse, first you need to set a voltage threshold, which is the L. So now there is a, comes a problem. So for the no noise to signal ratio pulse, sometimes the noise, for example, the, this pulse will be taken as a photon count. That, that will be a false count and uh, increase the dark counts. So for some essence pulse, you can increase the signal to noise ratio a little higher to make sure the pulse can be distinguished correctly. But even in this case, the voltage noise can give you additional time in jitter. For example, here the rising time of the pulse will shift the arriving time from its ideal value, which is delta t. That will add to the timing jitter and um, worse worsen the timing performance of this detector. So besides the detection problems in SNSPDs, a high output detector also has great motivation in photon number resolving or photon position resolving arrays. I will give you two examples. The first one is from Professor Phil Ray's group. They use a series of superconducting with shunted resistors to realize photon number resolving. And uh, the photon numbers are read out by the pulse amplitude. Another example is from our previous work. We first designed our inductive current splitting scam scheme to resolve the photon arriving positions in SNSPDs. The next figure is the photon array. <coughs> and for example, if the first element detect a photon, the differential pulse will give you a positive pulse and its amplitude is the highest. However, when a second one detects a photon, the differential pulse will also be positive, but the, its amplitude is a little bit lower. In both cases, the useful information like the photon number or the photon position are carried on the pulse amplitude. Therefore, if, if we can replace the pixels with our high output detector, we can increase the size, which means we can increase the maximum number of the pixels. There is a way to increase the output detector by using uh, avalanche cascading or avalanche superconducting nanoware detectors. The basic idea is that you put several nanowares in parallel, so when any of them hit a photon, absorb a photon, the, the current from that fired detector can switch the other superconducting wires and trigger uh, avalanche. Because in this paralleling architecture, the total bias current is uh, n times higher. Therefore, the output, time, the, the output signal is increased by eight times. However, there is a problem in this uh, architecture. That is, when you want to increase more of the signal output, you need to put more wires in parallel. And to operate them in avalanche, you have to bias all the nano wires very close to the critical current. The minimal bias current is defined as the avalanche current, which can be calculated from this formula. For example, if there are four wires in parallel, the avalanche current is about 0.75 of the critical current. And when n goes to 8, the avalanche current uh, will go to 0.188 of the critical current. There are several disadvantages for this high avalanche current. The first one is 
Because of the fabrication defects, the critical current of the nanowires cannot be uniform. Therefore, if one of the nanowires has a low critical current, which is lower than the avalanche current, then you cannot bias the whole device to reach the avalanche condition. That, so this device cannot work. The other disadvantage is because you want to make this device work, you, has, you have to bias all the nanowires to, to a current very close to the critical current. That means you push all the nanowires work in a high dark current regime. Therefore, you have less bias margin to optimize your device to its best performance. To resolve these problems, we design a new architecture for arranging nanowires. We call this architecture multi-stage cascading, and the device is star snap. And here is a basic schematic diagram. So every two nanowires forms a single two avalanche detector, and the four pairs will connect it together where uh, inductive binary tree format. So for example, a photon hit the first nanowire because of there is a, L, a, a choke inductor LS1, so the expel currents can only go to the second wires and trigger the first avalanche. And after these two wires are normal, the current will go to the third and the fourth wires and trigger the second avalanche. The third avalanche happens in the rest of nanowires in the same way. So by using the inductive network, so we can control the avalanche sequence. Therefore, in each avalanche, the number of the fired nanowire is equal to the superconducting wires. Therefore, it is only need one fired wire to trigger one superconducting wire. Therefore, we can reduce the avalanche current. We use electrothermal model to simulate uh, the current evolution in this avalanche. And from the result, we can see there are three clearly avalanche, which is happened in a controlled timing sequence. And this slide shows the micrograph of an A star snap. So both the inductors, and these are inductors, and the active area detectors, they are made of the same film. So we can only use one A-beam exposure to write the whole device. The active areas can consist of eight 15 nanometer nanowires. So because there are eight nanowires in parallel, so the output signal will be expected eight times higher. So next, I will show some results of these multi-stage cascading detectors. First, I will show the big pulse, which is our most primary motivation. So we, we, we capture two pulses. The red pulse is from the A star snap, and the blue pulse is from the SNPD on the same chip. So we can see the, the signal output from the A star snap increase about eight times higher than the pulse from uh, SNPD. And the output noise are almost identical. So we calculate the signal to noise ratio. So we can see there is a 7.7 amplification of the signal to noise ratio by using our multi-stage cascading architecture to arranging nanowires. So in this slide, I will show how we measure the avalanche current and show the every avalanche current of the multi-stage cascading detector will, re will be reduced a, a lot compared to the conventional design. So because we know that if the device is working in a uh, avalanche regime, so a single photon can trigger the whole avalanche. Therefore, we measure the device's detection efficiency at a different uh, photon flux, and also uh, the efficiency of SSPD, which is shown as the black curve. So we can see that when the device is biased about, above 0.78 of IC, the efficiency are almost independently to the photon flux and, and start to overlap with the efficiency of SSPD. So we defined this bias current as the average current, which is 0.78 of critical current. 
So if, if we use the conventional design, we calculate the avalanche, which is 0.88 IC. So in our design, there is a 0.1 IC reduction of the critical of the avalanche current. That means we have a wide bias range to optimize the de device. For example, we can reduce the bias current a little lower to have a lower dark counts. So things in this device, the eight nanowires happens in a controlled timing sequence. Therefore, it is interesting to know if the, whether the timing jitter of this device is as good as uh, SSPD. So we measure the timing jitter at a different bias current. And when the device is biased over the avalanche current, we saw the timing jitter drops and then remains in a constant value of 54 picoseconds. And we bias the device at 0.86 IC and measure its uh, re instrument response function, of which the, pro of which the profile shows a nice Gaussian shape. This timing sequence is as good as a typical SNPD, so we can re replace SNPD with this high output detector in the same good performance of the single photon detection. In conclusion, we designed a multi-stage cascading architecture. We successfully operated eight nanowires in avalanche mode. The device output and the signal to null ratio are increased by eight times. The avalanche current is 0 0.78 IC, where the timing data is only 54 picoseconds. In the future, we are going to apply a star snap in arrays to resolve photon position or photon number. We are also going to try use this high output detector to drive or read other electronics, such as memory circuits and photonic devices. And last, I want to thank you for the funding and my scholarship and uh, the technical support from Jim Dilley and Mark Mondo. We post our work on archive, and uh, here is archive number. So please feel free to take a look. OK, that's pretty much all my talk today. Thank you very much.